Another useful, another uh, application is yield estimation. Uh, wheat, corn, sunflowers uh, are, are crops that um, have a very close correlation in yields, rice. Uh, so the basic concept is that you have the NDVI on one hand, you take measurements the first one or two years because you need to find that correlation. Once that correlation is established, then you can do this process for the same region, for the same type of crop without going so much to the field, just to do a field check maybe. So the basic concept is that in different locations, they, according to a protocol, they're going to take some samples related with yield measurement. So that means number of spikes and amount of grain. And based on that, uh, and based on the seed weights, uh, we can correlate those parameters with actual uh, estimated yields. In this case, it was 6.75 report from the field. We didn't have a yield monitor in this case. We had reports that it was between 6 and 7, so we are, we're uh, happy with the, with the results. Usually between 5 and 10 percent, it's, it's the range of, of accuracy for this type of, of measurements, provided that there are no extreme events. Uh, the disadvantage is there are a lot of field work the first one or two years, and the advantage is that then you have a reliable measurement for the remaining years.